Hello! This time I'll take two bad Makita BL 8 and 30 lithium batteries and we'll make one good operating battery. Plus I'll show you two ways how to solve protection circuit problem when it was triggered and regular Makita charger isn't charging battery anymore. I have two Makita 8 volts 3 amp hours bad batteries. By saying bad, I mean that they have low voltage and won't take a charge on the regular Makita charger. I took both batteries apart and found that they have a little bit different protection circuit boards. They are protecting cells from overcharge, over discharge, overheat and are counting the number of charging cycles. Plus, one battery have balanced wires to each pair of five group cells connected in series. Measure the voltage of each cell group to identify bad cells. At each battery was dead one pair of 18650 cells. They was very badly corroded and of course won't hold or take a charge. There is only one way to solve this problem. By simply replacing dead cells. I choose battery with balanced circuit as project base and another one will be a donor. By using knife, remove bad cells and try to save battery tabs, because I'll use them later. In the same method, I removed a pair of good 18650 cells from a donor battery. Pretended and soldered 18650 cells in place. Checked what voltage we have. I took my Max B6 charger and charged battery to raise voltage up to 18 volts. I did that because I had a very small hope that protection circuit wasn't triggered and with normal battery voltage, the regular Makita charger will start charging. But that was a bust. So, if I want to use regular Makita charger, I have to replace triggered protection board. I found a replacement board on banggood.com for a few bucks. I'll leave a link in the description if you'll need this protection circuit too. The soldered all protection circuit. Because new protection board isn't compatible with balanced circuit, so it was removed too. Installed new board, soldered positive and negative terminals, plus red wire to first group of cells positive side. In case you don't want to buy replacement circuit or to be addicted to Makita regular charger or maybe your charger is broken, there is another charging option. 
All you need is to solder a lithium battery balance wire between each cells group and find a good place for connector or battery housing. This setup will allow you to charge and balance this battery with universal smart charger like a MaxB6. Plus, you will be able to see the state of each cell group connected in series by looking at internal resistance and voltages. I want to notice that internal resistance is able to show only a MaxB6 V2 model. I leave a link in description where you could get one. In my battery, cells have from 23 to 31 milliohms of internal resistance. Because those cells are quite old and used, I could say that is pretty good result. If resistance will be 50 milliohms or higher, I won't use them anymore. My battery is almost fully charged. Each group of cells have nice and almost equal voltages. Of course, it is possible to charge this battery without balance wire, but in this way there is a risk to overcharge some cells or not give a full charge to others. Assemble the battery back and put it on a regular charger to check does replaced circuit board solve the problem. And yes, it did! Battery fully charged and performs very well. In the beginning I had two dead and useless batteries. By taking out only two dead cells and replacing with pair of good cells from a donor, I got one full operating battery and 6 Aiden 650 hydrogen cells for future projects. This repair project will be totally free if I'll stay with IMAX B6 as a regular charger and get rid of Makita charger. But I'll show you both charging options, so you could choose the best solution for you by yourself. If this video was helpful, like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to check my other videos. Thanks for watching.